Yeah, well, Kevin, that uh, that debate that we just had a moment ago with regard to the pitching situation for the Brewers has now shifted. Even though the Brewers didn't add on, and it was a strike them out, throw them out, double play. It's a little hesitancy coming off the field. It was a swing and a miss after two fouls by Kane. But no add on runs, and in a four to nothing game, Jeffress takes over, and Hader comes in for two outs, and he's gone. Here we go. So trying to limit the work on Hader, which could make him. A little more flexible, possibly to come back. Oh yeah, I think back it, to back games. I think it makes him a lot flexible. Jeffers is trying to get it back together. Fired a strike to Justin Turner. Breaking ball is down and away. Jeffers has nasty stuff. I mean, he's got multiple ways to get you out. He's had some bad luck with some balls that have been hit to find the find a way for hits and then he made one bad pitch to Turner in that previous game for that two run homer. Hader threw eight pitches that's it while he was in there. That's outside. Two and one. Jeffress was so good during the regular season eight and one ERA one point two nine was an all star. In the postseason, the numbers have been up with an ERA up over seven and a half. And the Dodgers trying to make some noise here in the ninth inning with the middle three in their lineup. Three, four, five here in the ninth. Jammed him, fouled it away, and the count two and two. Here are the numbers. 1.29 ERA during the regular season. Postseason, it's going to struggle. And the ERA, even on the graphic, is up over seven and a half. Took the loss in game two. Well, eight pitches and warming up and not having to get up and down a lot, that's not a big deal at all. I know it's a max effort guy in Hader, but I would be shocked if he wasn't available for multiple outs tomorrow, meaning more than one inning. So that changes not only the mindset of Dave Roberts as he goes into that game, but obviously the mindset of Craig Council having all of his weapons available. You have to close out this game. Yeah, but you know, this is a perfect spot for Jeffers, even though we, we just showed some of his numbers. A four run lead in the ninth for their for their closer on the year is not you can't get caught up in the what if a runner or two gets on. Three two pitch from Jeffers. Right back up the middle. Is on. So Justin Turner, who took Jeffress deep in game two, and that two run shot in the eighth inning, he is on with a leadoff base hit. See another, yeah, another ground ball, but it found, finds the hole. Machado. A single walk and then hit a rocket to third, handled by Mustakas. Popped up, right side, foul ball. Shaw is out of room. Might have had a play on it, but he just kept drifting. And it's a row deep. Oh, so close here on a ball that, as you said, one row in the stands.
Machado up now. Bellinger to follow and then Puig. And on the 30 year anniversary of the Kirk Gibson home run, the Dodgers won more magic. That's gone toward the corner. Fair ball. Turner digs for third. Machado with a double. Machado pulls it down the line, hanging breaking ball. Dodgers have a little life here in the ninth inning. Kratz goes out to the mound. Great meeting for Kratz just to settle down as top guy, and that's going to get somebody going. For great counsel of the Brewers. The Dodgers need one more base runner on to bring up the tying run. So those guys on the on the on the bases don't matter. I know I sit at home. What do you mean they don't matter? They don't. This guy right here is the most important batter now. When you're faced with this situation, you never want the tying run to come to the plate. So you get three outs, they score two runs. So what? That's the mindset you gotta have. Bellinger pops it up. Slams his bat down as Garcia hauls it in one away. Right in an O for four night. For Cody Bellinger. And he is frustrated. Two handed. The batter is Puig. time we've seen counsel on the phone is Yasmani Grandal, who has had the most frustrating series of any Dodger to this point represents the tying run of the plate. The last time he faced the bases loaded situation in Milwaukee. Ground ball to second for a double play. Takes a strike. And that was against the man on the mound, Jeffress. He 
gets another crack at Jeffers. See if they go back up there or try to get him to chase something down the bottom of the plate. This game now is up to Brian Dozier off the bench to bat for the pitcher Flora. Got him to chase up and then went down with this real good breaking ball over the middle of the plate. Made it look like a strike. I have a feeling that frustration will be taken out. And Jeffress remains with Dozier about to dig in. The last time the Dodgers were shut out at home in the postseason game one of the 83 NLCS, the Phillies got them one to nothing behind Steve Carlton and Al Holland. Well, that meeting at the mound should have went something like this. Nothing middle in. This is what Dozier loves. That's his power stroke. And he can hit the ball up. Especially middle end, so keep the ball away. And remember, even though base hits not the end of the world, just got to keep the ball in the park. Good pitch for strike one. Dozier with the Twins hit 16 home runs, hit five with the Dodgers, picked up in season. Strike two, and the Brewers are one strike away from a two games to one series advantage. Jeffress on one and two. Got him! Struck him out looking. Milwaukee wins it four to nothing as Jeffress gets into and out of trouble. And the Brewers are up two games to one. A three hour, 25 minute game, and this thing came down to the last couple of at bats. And Tums. <laughs> and nervous stomachs, but for Jeffers, a confidence boost. As you mentioned, got in trouble and got out of trouble and painted a fastball away. You can see the smile of Eric Krantz behind home plate. Had it all the way. Craig Council also telling us we're not going to win this without pitching Jeffers either. Absolutely. And that collective effort. No runs. That Milwaukee Brewer pitching staff says we know the Dodgers are pretty good, but we can match. 
A five hit shutout put together by Chassin, Knebel, Soria, Hader, and Jeffers.